Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 24th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had quite a volatile day where we started to push up from the lows and then mostly gave it up by the end of the day, going lower to retest some of the lows with the uncertainty of, of what comes next with all the big tech reports coming today. Overnight, we had Asian markets um, recovered from overnight lows, closing the day with modest gains. Um, only um, Hong Kong was just slightly lower last night. They had some data coming out of Japan, Australia, and Korea that kind of helped to boost things a little bit better. Um, European markets are tentative this morning. They are mostly higher here at the moment as I'm recording this at 5.30 um, in the morning. Um, they are waiting on some purchasing, some manufacturing purchasing managers um, data and Barclays, the, uh, one of the major banks over there, down 6% this morning after disappointing on earnings. We have bonds this morning that are essentially flat, very little change in the bonds overnight just kind of floating around there. So we also have oil this morning. Yesterday we saw it ticking down a little bit. This morning we see it ticking up a little bit. Still that uncertainty over the um, over the war uh, between Israel and Hamas uh, continuing to add pressure to that oil sector. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, the look that we take here of the market is to look at it without bias and to try and figure out where we might go. Well, obviously, we've got um, a pretty ugly close yesterday where we pushed up. We've got a little bit of an inverted hammer. Now, sometimes an inverted hammer can produce that upside move in the market. And as you remember yesterday, I was calling for that possibility of a relief rally from an oversold condition. We started that out yesterday, just couldn't follow through. Saw that selling come in in the afternoon, taking us back down with all the uncertainty, heading into our biggest day so far of earnings. Let's take a look. You can see in the pre-market, we're trying to pump a little bit higher here this morning. So if those bulls can continue to find inspiration here this morning, let's look to see if they can um, pop this resistance right in here. Obviously, that's going to be the first step. We need to get up through that area. And if we can, then maybe we can start attacking some of these other areas here in the chart. There's a little bit of price resistance in there, as you can see, um, and maybe back up into this downtrend here in the chart. Um, with enough energy. If the bears, however, continue to find um, reason to sell, let's look for a push down and maybe even a retest down into this level of the chart on the diamonds. And if that were to fail, well, unfortunately, um, we could go sharply lower if that area right in here fails. We could push maybe all the way down into here around um, 333 area of the Dow trying to find some support right in off the high part of this low area of the diamonds. So keep a close eye on um, the diamonds. There is likely going to be substantial volatility um, in the market today due to all of the economic and, and earnings data, particularly earnings data today. Let's take a look at our technicals here in our chart. Obviously, we've created a tremendous technical resistance level up here. You can see the 34 EMA is now crossing the 200 day. Um, obviously, we have a big zone of price resistance 
and technical resistance in the chart right there. You'll notice that our 50 day is diving pretty quickly now. It's not going to be too many more days and we're going to have the 50 also joining this party, um, possibly even breaking down below the 200 day. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Clearly still moving in a downtrend, we created a lower low yesterday. We had been struggling whether or not we were going to break that low, created that lower low. If you look right here, we ended up coming down to that support area that I marked in the chart yesterday. And now the question is, if the bears continue to push, if they find inspiration to push on through, where do we go from here? Well, you can see if we push on lower and break this support, we've got maybe some area right down in here. Notice across some of these highs right through here, we're going to catch the, maybe the underneath side of that um, support area and this congestion area right in here that might be the next level lower down there around 410 if the bears continue to find inspiration to push lower if the bulls happen to find inspiration you can see they're trying to pump up here this morning in the pre-market if they can continue to find that inspiration well first off we need to break back through some of this resistance here in the chart and then maybe attack this resistance area here notice that we have struggled with this area for some time we'll want to watch that pretty closely if we can push up through there then we have that opportunity that maybe we can attack this downtrend. We'll see from that point on because we're going to run into some technical issues here in the chart as well. If we take a look at our SPY, you'll notice pushing up here this morning off of the 500 day moving average, but we still have our 200 day moving average at the moment serving as resistance. We rejected that yesterday. We'll want to watch that carefully as we push back up. Remember, as we push back up into these areas in that downtrend here, we're going to have our 34 EMA, our 50 is dropping pretty quickly here in that chart. Right up in this zone, we're likely to have a technical situation that we're going to have to deal with as well. So we're going to need some kind of good energy in the market to maybe push us through that area. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ still remains the strong strongest of the indexes and although we did technically make a new low here um, a lower high lower low we're bouncing up off of that and we ended up holding in here the only index holding some positive yesterday in the market so kind of hung on in there and you can see trying to push up here in the pre-market this morning so if those bulls can continue to follow through here this morning to the upside with hope of these big tech reports coming this afternoon then watch this area right up in here as the next resistance level in the chart Breaking through that will be fairly significant for us because that pushes us into this area where we could be challenging the overall downtrend of the chart. And we do have some technical patterns in here to be paying attention to as well. If we um, find um, energy um, is not to the upside, it reverses to the downside today, well then a retest of the support looks likely. And if that were to fail, I'm going to place the next level right down here around that 348 in the chart. Now looking at our, um, our technicals, our moving averages, you can see as we push up in here, we're going to run into a accumulation. We've got uh, 50, the 34, um, 8 exponential, our 20 day is up here as well. So we're all, all of these moving averages right in here are going to come together to provide some additional resistance along with that price action resistance so again we're going to need something we're going to need some really good reports maybe to push us up through there and maybe get things going here in the nasdaq certainly possible with the data that we have coming let's take a look at our iwm now iwm continues to be the weakest of the indexes pushing on lower here made a new low yesterday 
And as you can see, got a little buying coming in here this morning. If the bears were to continue to find inspiration, I think there's still a possibility that we could come down here and test this low. So watch that carefully. If the bears get something to grab a hold of today, we could easily be down here testing this low in the chart. That's a pretty substantial low area of the chart and maybe we could gain a little bit of lift off of that area. But again, that's a maybe and it kind of depends on the data. If the bulls continue to follow through, well notice we've got a big open area that we can rally here in the chart. The next resistance really isn't in until we reach up here. There's a few tails and, and wicks down in, or um, candle patterns right down in here that we could look at maybe for some intermediary resistance area in the chart. But I think that possibility, if we can really get going, IWM may have that stretch that comes in pushes us up into here and F breaking through this could be critical because it's a fairly significant level of price resistance and technically in the chart well this is ugly as you can see we're very extended to the downtrend in this downtrend very oversold even stretched away from our eight exponential moving average which probably gives us that little bit of hope that we're going to get a relief rally here soon and you can see as we start pushing back up we've got a lot of technicals here to deal with where our 50 is well below the 200 now so we've got a lot of work to do here in that small cap um, sector of the market let's take a look at our um, VIX here this morning. Our VIX did pull back yesterday, which was nice. Got a little relief in that fear, but not so much as to really change anything. You'll want to notice that pulling back below this level is important, however, because that's a fairly significant area in the chart. So pulling back below there is a good sign that we might be able to get a little follow through to the upside, pushing this down maybe to test this upside trend in the VIX. Um, I'm not saying that's going to occur because with the data today we could certainly reverse this um, early bullishness in the market and see that fear come in and if the fear were to come in based on the data then a break of this area up here could really start to send the market into a bit of a panic. So just keep an eye on that. Remember, I know a lot of people hang their hat on the idea that the big techs will never ever fail them, but trust me, they have in the past and there's no reason to believe that they couldn't hear again. Just be really, really careful. Then if we take a look at our T2122, this is, I think, our best hope right here of suggesting that we are extremely oversold in the market. And yesterday's pullback producing those inverted hammers might actually be that clue that we could get a little bit of lift off out of here and maybe begin a bit of a re relief rally. But that being said, if we can notice that we have a tremendous upside opportunity if we can get some bullish energy in the market. Um, and there is just really not much uh, more downside here that we can get in the T2122 indicator. We don't go below zero here in the T2122. So if the data comes in good, then we can continue to lift. If the data comes in bad, well, just keep in mind, there are more support levels down below that we could test in the market and we could easily see a free fall situation if that data really disappoints in the market. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 pushed on down, but if there's any kind of hope in T2108, we made a lower low, 16 and a quarter of the stocks holding above their 40 day, but we didn't go below this support area. So that may be a little bit of a silver lining out there. Um, trying to hold with a little bit of bullishness in the pre-market this morning. Maybe we can start to lift off of that, get a little bit of relief rally. I'm not suggesting that we're going to zoom back to the top. 
not in any way, shape, or form am I suggesting that we're just going to zoom to the upside. What I would be watching for next is if we can lift off of here, we start testing resistance levels in these charts and determining whether or not we've got enough energy in the market to start pushing on through. So keep that in mind. This does not necessarily mean we just take off like a rocket shot to the upside. So be very careful in over trading the market. You will want to keep in mind that we have that possibility if we find bearish data we've got plenty of proof that we can still go lower so um, watch that close and if we take a look at our t2107 well our t2107 went on lower yesterday if there's any good news in this it shows us that little bit of a hook right there that little hook is showing that possibility that we've got a, a, a potential of a lift to the upside here but keep in mind as we lift up there you know, are major resistance levels now in this chart a lot of concern a lot of fear out here has picked up so we've got that uncertainty we've still got the downtrend in here that we'll have to beat to be moving to the upside and keep in mind we still have plenty of downside opportunity in this chart we, we have obviously seen much lower lows here in t2107 so if the bears find in um, you know inspiration we still can move on down our t2101 was a little bit disappointing yesterday because as we sold off the breadth actually increased. So we saw the energy to the sell side of the market, not to the bullish side of the market coming in. We're approaching this downtrend area here in the chart. So if we're going to get that relief rally, if we, we, we really need some kind of a short squeeze, I think, to move us through here, we need to see that breadth increasing, breaking that level here in the chart on the buy wave of the market. Now that may be possible today with the data that we've got coming. So we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that. Watch it carefully because if that breadth doesn't expand on the buy wave, then that will embolden the bears to push back after a little bit of relief. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has got quite a bit going on. Well, mostly on the, I should say, shouldn't say that, on the earnings calendar, but we do have a couple of things here this morning to be paying attention to. We're gonna be, have to watch this PMI composite flash number here today. Keep an eye on that. We've got the Richmond Fed manufacturing numbers to be paying attention to here today. We've got a two year bond auction that um, obviously uh, the way the bonds have been acting, those are worth paying attention to. As we get through that, remember after the bell today, we've got Google and Microsoft reporting, and then we'll be thinking about new home sales, petroleum status, and we got a Jerome Powell speech now tomorrow um, after the bell. So uh, these guys, these uh, Fed speakers are never done talking apparently. So watch that carefully let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar and it's a busy one there's no way i can cover all the earnings this morning there's just too many of them but um, just i'll run through a few of them we're going to hear from archer daniels here today we're going to hear from um, cni uh, coke will be reporting here this morning uh, General Motors has reported already this morning. We've got um, Corning that will be reporting. Now remember, Corning provides all the glass for um, Apple. And well, this doesn't look good right now heading into um, their report with Corning falling the way they are. As I mentioned before, we're gonna um, have Google Reporting today, we're going to hear from GE. Ah, nice pop there in GE this morning. Looking good right now. Um, we're going to hear from Halliburton. We've got Kimberly Clark reporting. We're going to hear from 3M. We're going to hear from Microsoft today. So keep an eye on those. We're going to get um, RTX report today. We've got some regional banks, PacWest reporting. We're gonna hear from Snap. 
we're going to hear from Spotify. We've got Visa also on the list today and Verizon. So plenty of stocks to be paying attention to. And if you want the full list of notables this morning, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can grab that full list of notables. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Remember, even an emoji counts. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. And I do know there's a lot of folks that watch the video that aren't leaving comments every day. And, and I get it. It's, it's, it's a hard thing to do every single day. But I do appreciate the support of the effort of putting the videos out every day. So thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few of these that um, I think are pretty interesting. Um, on the low end of the retail scale, um, we've got Dollar General. Dollar General putting in a nice higher low here. Now, it may not be quite ready uh, for prime time here. The, the reason I say that is this might be a little bit of a steep rally, so it may have to rest a little bit more here before it moves on up. But watch that closely. That's a very positive um, pattern here in the chart. And if we look at some of the other um, lower in retail, you know, and folks are looking for alternatives in these higher prices and uh, Dollar General, or I mean Dollar Tree might be another one to pay attention to. We're pulling back into this trend, coming into some, some support. Watch for that opportunity in here. We saw um, Five Below has had a really nice increase going on here and a nice little consolidation coming into play, moving out here to this trend. So I would look for that next opportunity for that upside move in five below. You might want to take a look at Walmart as well. Walmart made a nice recovery yesterday, putting in a big bullish engulfing candle here yesterday, pushing us back up above this little resistance area in the chart. Now, if it can prove to hold up here, I think that's worth paying attention to. Remember, it's going to report on 11.15. Hold up there, maintain that trend, look for that next opportunity to the upside in those charts. Let's take a look at some of the areas in energy. As you guys know, I mentioned BTU yesterday. It did find a little bit of buying in here. It isn't quite ready, in my opinion, to jump back up. I need to see that cross back above that resistance and prove to hold then I'd be looking at something there in BTU for an opportunity. Keep a close eye on that one. Um, I've been uh, keeping a close eye on some of the um, um, stocks that are a defensive sector. And you can see here, KHC is just continuing to be very, very bearish. But as you, as I showed you earlier, Coke reporting, that's trying to put in a higher low. We might want to keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks and some of these telecommunications like AT&T pushing up. Now this will be very affected likely by the Verizon report today. So watch that closely. If it can hold this support in here and hold that higher low, then I would look for some opportunities in that stock. Um, some of these are so dismal right at the moment that they're worth paying attention to uh, for that first higher low to see if we can start catching a little bit of recovery. Let's take a look at the energy sector. XLE had some selling yesterday and now this morning we're getting some buying going on. So pushing down into this area um, uh, sets up that potential bearishness. Notice that we broke that um, trend to the upside, but then we gave it right back up. I still think there's a possibility here looking at this chart that there could be that head and shoulders pattern forming in here. So if XLE 
can pop right back above here and hold, then I would look for that next opportunity, maybe following a trend right around in there to that up back to that upside here in energy. With the Israeli Hamas war going on, there's certainly a lot of pressure um, on oil and gas. And I just don't see this being resolved um, quickly. I hope I'm wrong. Honestly, I hope I'm wrong. But um, I don't see that resolving um, all that quickly. So watch watch that carefully. If you take a look at um, some of the refining um, stocks out there like uh, Schlumberger, you can see Schlumberger has been holding in this pattern here. That possibility of a little higher low might have that opportunity to pop on through up here soon. And then we could see some upside here in Schlumberger. So a few things going on there in the market. Unfortunately, folks, I spent too much time talking about the indexes there. I'm running the video a little bit long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Remember, anything is possible today. So make sure you plan your risk carefully. We could see substantial whipsaws as the big tech reports come out. It could be bullish, bearish, or anything in between. Make sure you're planning your risk very, very carefully. Don't over trade something um, like this because it can be very punishing to your account. With that, I want to wish you all the best of success today. Wish you all the best, and I will see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.